Hi, welcome back to Box of Lights and welcome to the Galaxy Defenders playthrough. Just before we get started on this episode, I've got one rules error to clear up and a couple of questions to answer. The first one is that when this Xeno Beta here was defending an attack, I'd done four hits uh, with a lightning bolt, so they rolled three defense dice. I got one shield, so that took three hits and I killed them because their health is four. But you'll notice I rolled a lightning bolt on here and that would have triggered their lightning bolt defense ability, which is regenerate, heal one wound. So they would have healed one wound, then taken their three damage. They would have still been alive. Unfortunately, I've kind of plowed on through this episode with this, this guy off the board. I think it's probably a little bit too late to go back and correct that now. But be aware that look out for these lightning bolts. They do come into effect when you're rolling defense rolls. Let's just assume I rolled something like that. Okay, it was an oversight on my part. It's a bit too late to try and fix it now. So, uh, but let's let's. Uh, it's, it's only a little mistake. Let's carry on. Okay, the questions that you asked me were my weapons seem to be jamming quite a lot. So the question is, is it because there's a lot of sides to these dice that cause your weapons to jam, or have I been rolling some unlucky dice? Well, here's the red die. You can see there's only one side. Okay, so it is a 1 in 10 chance. Likewise, for the blue die, so yeah, I suffered some bad rolls. So maybe that's compensation for <laughs> me making that last mistake. But the other thing is you can mitigate those a little bit as well because there are some skills you can learn. This one's a passive skill that says you can ignore the jam and the skull when using alien weapons. So you can upgrade your weapons. Um, here's another one uh, that you can re-roll. This is a weapon expert skill. Okay, so... Uh, these problems are more inherent in the beginning as you go through the game and your agent upgrades then you can learn these these uh, weapon skills that allows you to to, to mitigate those uh, those jams so yeah it's just bad rolling on my part really the other question people have been asking is related to these close encounter cards and the question is coming from those with the Kickstarter version in the base retail game there's 32 close encounter cards and of those 32 two of them one number five and one number six have this danger symbol which the basic rules explain these are just an extra dangerous version of the five and six that say if you don't have any in this case xenobetas in this case spine critters then spawn some Okay, those are the only two in the version of the game that I have, the retail version. But in the Kickstarter version you get 14 more ca uh, cards and an expansion that adds more of these danger cards. If a scenario asks for, therefore, two number fives or two number sixes, then at least one of them is going to be the danger, danger version. Okay, so this isn't a variant, this is the base game. The Kickstarter adds the variant that says if the scenario asks for any of these other cards, these basic ones that aren't danger, you can, if you wish, substitute in the danger variant for a more difficult game. There's one other little um, condition to check, and that is some scenarios only ask for one number five or one number six. If they only ask for one number five or one number six, they will qualify. The scenario will have this danger symbol or not to show you which of these two cards to add in. Okay, so it's only for the five and only for the six. That's it, let's crack on with the game. Okay, we're starting a new turn. I got an alien artifact last time, so I do get to try and upgrade. Let's see what we can do. Looking for a GD. Yes, we got two. We got two Galaxy Defenders. All right, we've we've gone up a rank. We only needed 
one to go up to the bronze rank. We uh, we can't go up two levels in one in one go, so uh, we've got to wait again. So the fact that we rolled two doesn't doesn't mean anything. But what we do we get as a reward, we get to choose one basic tactic to add to our our marine. These are the basic tactics. There's good selection. We've got a free choice over what we want to do. Let's take this one. That's my basic tactic. It says I can heal one wound or one body condition. I reckon that's the kind of thing that, that could come in handy. Well, I like the idea of getting rid of this one because this shield is the most common face on that, that die, that blue dice. So I'm going to move one, two. That's fine. I'm adjacent to this thing. I can't use my combat action because my weapons are jammed. I'm going to use my action to destroy this teleport point. So I grab one of these flame tokens, place it here. And the next time we hit the strategy phase, we'll remove the teleport, but the fire remains. Fire's no big deal as long as we don't go near it. If you cross the fire, move into it, then you suffer a wound. Right, aliens. Let's see what we got. Elite Assault. Activate all blue aliens. Let's do the big guy first. Um, okay, he's going to... We're not within three range, are we? No. So he's going to move one area towards the closest agent and use you regenerate. Regenerate heals one wound. Okay, but he's not wounded. So one area puts him here. I think that's in range of his weapon now. That's the problem. This spine critter, he's one, two, two away. So he's just going to do the bottom part again. Move up to two areas towards the most wounded agent. Okay. So one, two, and he's adjacent to me. That means next time he activates, he's going to give me a wallop, isn't it? I can't use my guard ability because my weapons are jammed. Let's see what the game's going to throw at us. It says, alien plans. Two agents each discard one ammo. Well, I'm going to assume that just means me remove one, not me remove two. All signals move one area towards the alpha agent. Oh my goodness, this is getting nasty. That's going to move up here. He can't move up onto this hill because uh, of the, the blocking here. Um, it's in line of sight, so let's have a look at it. It's another alien. <laughs> I really should have um, jammed my weapon, shouldn't I? It's a blue spine critter. And now we have the teleport. And we're playing one player, so this means teleport one signal. Things are looking really, really mean. So let's grab a signal, roll a blue die, see where it goes. It's the lightning bolt again. That was lucky. Oh, it's actually on the teleport, I think. And that one's... No, it's not in line of sight. We're just clipping the side of this hill. It's Agent Chromium's turn. We can now remove this teleport. One down, three to go. We run out of time, which means we get through the event deck and head into the 11th phase. I think it's actually the strategy phase that the game ends. It's at that point then that we have to look at how many of these things we've killed. But we can speed things along a little bit now, I think, because we, we kind of know what we're doing. I'm going to use my action and my movement to unjam my weapon. Let's get rid of this, and then we're going to use this to take out this spine critter, I think. Let's roll three dice. We got three hits and a lightning bolt. This guy's only got. Oops. This should be a one, shouldn't it? Yep. Yeah. He's only got three health, so one more hit. We've done three. 
And they're three dice minus one because of the lightning bolt. Two defense dice. Ah! Two shields. Oh, but that's okay. We did three hits. Yes. That's a guaranteed hit. You're dead. And we get another alien artifact. Just one more, and we can call reinforcements. And the good news is we didn't jam up our weapon either. I think it's their turn. Yep. And we've got Frenzy. Activate all aliens at zero range. Woo, we picked the right guy. This one's at range one. Okay. There's no spawning here. Events. EMP storm. Neither agents nor aliens may use their lightning bolt effects until the next event phase. Ah. And we've got teleport zero for, for one player. Okay, we can put this here. We'll have to remember this. Let's fire our weapon. So let's use that. And then perhaps unjam our sidearm. Each using turns, that's the trouble. Let's fire a weapon and then see what happens. So three dice. Oh, would you believe it? Two GDs, one hit and one lightning bolt, but we can't use our special for the BMP storm. So they get to roll one blue dice. And it's a shield, so that does nothing. We've got an Action and a movement left, so we could use that to unjam our side iron. But I quite fancy moving, but we could move up here. I don't want to move through this hex. I'll make our way up around this way. That'll be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. It's going to be quite a few turns. And the sensible thing to do would be go this way, I suppose. One, two, three. There's a lot of aliens here. Oh my goodness, this is tough. I do feel like I need a tougher weapon though. Um, the other thing is you kind of got to look ahead a little bit. If you want, um, because this is a campaign, it would be good to get the most out of the game. Because I'm going to waste a couple of turns going this way around. But it might draw the aliens back down. Okay, let's go this way. One, two, three. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. Activate no aliens, quiet dawn. Right, well, we like the sound of that. It's just events now. Uh, clear sky weather. Oh, that's good. We're in the events phase now, so EMP storm can go. And we've got a new weather card, so Tempest can go. We get our movement back, that's good. Weather effect none. All signals move one area towards the closest agent. So this one's going to move down. It where I like this hill's blocking line of sight, so we're not going to reveal that. And then finally, teleport nothing. So we head back into our turn, and we're definitely going to move one, two, three, four. I think I might one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think I'm going to duck behind this cover. But as I do, we're going to get line of sight of this token because I've put it here. I put it up here. We would stay out of line of sight. Let's do that. Let's keep this up here and then we'll move up here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We'll turn and face this way. We've got sight on this one. So I might let off a shot against him. We're in range, aren't we? One, two, yep. Yeah. So that's three dice. And we got Two hits, a miss. We also got this ammo roll, which means we've got to discard an ammo token. That's bad news. We only got two here, so we're down to just one ammo left on this rifle. And that's a problem because you can't fire it if you run out of ammo. Okay, we've got two hits and one. Lightning bolts, so they get roll one defense die. And that's a failure, so they're going to take two wounds. 
I've got my action left. I could use my flash grenade, but I'm going to save it, I think. I've got to be careful now. Okay. First contact. Oh dear. Activate all Xenobeta. So there's no Xenobeta in play. Teleport one. Okay, well, we've got one in play. It's this guy up here. And he says, um, let's see, what's his range? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yep, yeah, one, two, three. So that means he moves one area toward the closest agent and attack with Blaster. <laughs> Thank you.